Could the boys ever be added to Fortnite? This is a question that came to me whilst I was working on my which Mortal Kombat 1 characters could beat Omni-Man video, specifically during the Homelander section of the video that people won't stop roasting me about. Ahem, <laughs> link in the description. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Max, of course the boys could be added to Fortnite. Anything can be added to Fortnite. I mean, they just added Peter Griffin for God's sake. And while I do genuinely agree with the sentiment that anything can be added to Fortnite, I also believe that the content found within the boys as a franchise could potentially keep it out of the game. That's why in today's video, I'm going to be compiling a list of arguments for and against the inclusion of the boys in Fortnite, as well as giving my thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. So without further ado, sit back, relax, grab yourself a Vought branded snack, as I attempt to answer the question I proposed at the beginning of this video. Could the boys ever be added to Fortnite? But first off, just what exactly is the boys? Well, for those of you who've been living under a rock for the past half a decade, the Boys is a superhero TV show produced by Amazon Prime Video that is based off of the comic book series of the same name. In it, superheroes are propped up like celebrities with the help of an all-powerful corporation known as Vought, who also happens to profit from said heroes. While on the surface these quote-unquote soups appear to be well-meaning individuals dedicating their lives to protecting the innocent and dispensing justice to criminals, in actuality, most of them are corrupt as hell. This is perfectly demonstrated by the show's primary antagonist, Homelander, an egotistical psychopath who says and does whatever he pleases, due to there not being anyone who can stand up to him. Well, except for the boys. Yes, the boys, a group of ragtag vigilantes led by the ever-lovable Billy Butcher, a man with a personal vendetta against Homelander for things he did to his wife that I can't mention here or else the video would get demonetized. The goal of the boys, and the main premise of the entire show, is quite simple. Take down Vought and the rest of the corrupt supers under them. So yeah, that's the boys, or at least a very condensed summary of the show. Now that we're all caught up to speed on just what exactly the boys is, I want to dedicate this next section of the video to laying out the two biggest factors I often see people mention when it comes to why Epic Games hasn't slash won't add characters from the boys in the Fortnite. Those two factors being A, the show's incredibly graphic nature, and B, the show's strong political overtones. Let's start off with the first point, the overly graphic content found within the show. Even if you've never watched a single episode of The Boys, there's a pretty good chance you've at least heard about how violent it can be. I mean, that's one of the biggest appeals of The Boys as a franchise, seeing superheroes portrayed as insufferable monsters and their willingness to take other people's lives without a second thought. People are getting their heads blown off by Homelander, their guts ripped out again by Homelander, and then you have the speedster A-Train running through people and turning them into a gory mess. I don't want to risk getting this video demonetized like I said earlier, so I won't show any of the scenes I just described, but if you know, you know. Oh, and there's also the Deep. He's not a violent individual by any means, but he certainly is a graphic individual. Once again, if you know, you know. Anyways, this is all to say that the violence present in the boys might be too much for Fortnite to be associated with, especially with Epic Games' attempt to crack down on more mature rated content with the introduction of their stupid ass content rating system. Stop. Stop. Right there. I see you about to comment about how they just added characters from Invincible to the game a few weeks ago. Don't worry, we'll get there. Anyways, let's move on to the second factor people often bring up as to why Epic Games is keeping the boys out of Fortnite. Politics. Look, I'll try to keep this section brief because, well, getting political sucks, but politics are so deeply ingrained into the boys that this next part is entirely unavoidable. People argue that since this show is so in your face with its political messages, including issues ranging from racism, sexism, homophobia, toxic masculinity, corporate greed, etc., that this might be the thing that keeps the boys away from Fortnite, more so than the aforementioned violence. And well, I can understand why people might think this, especially seeing as how the show is not subtle about it in any way, shape, or form. Now, do any of these arguments have any merit to them? No, not in the slightest. Let me explain why everything I just said is complete and utter bullshit. 
Starting out with the violence argument, there are plenty, and I mean plenty of crossover characters in this game that originate from violent franchises. Remember how I mentioned Invincible earlier? Yeah, well, that show is equally as graphic as The Boys, if not more so, in certain cases. And despite all that, Invincible, Omni-Man, and Adam Eve are all here. And even if Invincible wasn't in the game, there are still a whole hell of a lot of ultra-violent franchises being represented in this game. You got Halloween, Doom, Rick and Morty, John Wick, Eminem, who isn't a franchise, but you know what I mean. It's incredibly clear at this point in Fortnite's lifespan that even if a franchise is graphic with its content, it can still get representation in the game with some minor tweaking. But what about the political aspect? Well, we already have some pretty politics-heavy franchises in the game as is, like Star Wars, Captain America, The Suicide Squad, and Dune, just to name a few. Every form of media is inherently political in some shape or form, so if politics was the thing to keep a franchise out of Fortnite, then there would simply be no crossovers. But with that being said, we finally debunked the two factors that people like to use when it comes to the question of whether or not the boys could be added to Fortnite. Oh, wait a minute. H hang on. Was this black bar always here? Here, give me a second. Let me just move that out of the way. Oh shit. Yeah, for those of you unaware, a while back the boys had a pretty big crossover with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone. The crossover saw the characters Homelander, Starlight, and Black Noir being added to these games as operators, as well as unique consumable items that gave you superpowers when used. Speaking as an outsider looking in, Infinity Ward and Activision did a pretty fantastic job at translating these characters into the world of Call of Duty. It's pretty weird seeing Homelander running around with a gun, but as a Fortnite player, I have no room to complain. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting off track. What do I mean when I say Call of Duty fits the boys' style better? Well, it's actually pretty understandable. I mean that the gritty, more realistic approach to Call of Duty makes it the perfect setting to host a series as dark and as violent as The Boys. Now, that's not to say that the style of The Boys couldn't be replicated in Fortnite. After all, they've made plenty of other unique styles work perfectly in the past, like anime and Western animation. But with that being said, I don't know. Call of Duty just seems to be the better fit for the boys, as it keeps things like the violence of the show intact. And was it being confirmed that the character A-Train is going to be added to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 relatively soon, it seems whoever is in charge of making these crossovers happen is of a similar mindset. Hey, so this is Editing Max. Um, I just discovered that there is apparently a crossover between the boys and PUBG Mobile which I'll admit I had no idea about because I don't follow PUBG at all. But I, I think this kind of, like this, Call of Duty and Mortal Kombat, uh, all, these games kind of cement the theory that I had that Amazon is wanting to stick with more mature rated uh, games rather than uh, the more family-friendly side of uh, Fortnite. So, uh, yeah. So... To answer the question I proposed at the beginning of this video, could the boys ever be added to Fortnite? Yes, of course. But at the moment, Amazon seems to want to keep these characters exclusively in the world of Call of Duty. Now that that question has been answered, I can finally bring this video to a close. Thank you for watching. Did you guys agree with the points I made in this video, or do you think there were some flaws in my logic? If you do think I missed some important details, let me know about it in the comments down below. If you like this video and want to see more Fortnite and crossover based content in the future, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It truly helps out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you in the next one.